Hi, today I'm going to show you how to mod a VEX servo and turn it into a continuous rotation motor. The tools you're going to need is basically a screwdriver. That's it. You're also going to need a motor gear. Now, the way you can tell the difference between a motor gear and a servo gear is that on a servo gear, there is a small nub right there, if you can see it, right there, and that prevents it from rotating a full 360. Instead, it only rotates 100. This is a motor gear. It has no nub at all, which lets it rotate freely. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove the casing of the motor. Then you're going to find a couple gears inside. You're going to want to remove this top gear and the black gear. What you're going to be left with is a small, is a couple gears over here and a small black nub that comes up from here. Now, we're not ready to put the second gear in yet. We have to set that because it's a potentiometer. And uh, what that'll do is it'll make the servo rotate degrees. And we need to set that to zero so it doesn't rotate anymore. So to do that, we're going to go over here. And as you can see, the motor is rotating out of control. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to twist that. You're going to want to twist this little nub right here till the motor stops spinning. As you can see, it's starting to spin and it gets farther and farther up. And you're going to want to twist that right into the middle where it stops spinning. That way, your uh, servo won't just keep spinning. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the uh, continuous rotation motor gear and the white gear that you took out of it, and you're going to want to uh, put those in. Now, in order to do this, you're going to go here, you're going to take the white gear, and you're going to put that back where it was. At the same time, you put the black gear on. So you're going to go like that. Put the black gear on. Now you've just fit it on. It's back on. Now we're going to put the casing back on and test it out. Alrighty. As you can see, my microcontroller is still on, but the motor is not spinning, which is a good thing. That means that when I turn on the servo from the controller, that it's going to start running. Alright, it's not going back on yet. It's okay here. Okay. Now we're gonna go test it out. You wanna hold it on because I didn't screw in the screws yet. Now I'm turning on the controller. As you can see it was a little jittery, but now it's back normal. Perfectly still, just like a motor. Now watch. I'm gonna push up. Servo is rotating continuously. I let go. And it's saturating. But sometimes uh, when the motor runs, the vibrations can twist the potentiometer inside just a little bit. And you might hear like a clicking noise. Like right now, it's making a small noise. But that's just because the motor is kind of running, but it's not running anywhere near uh, high power. So it's really just it's making a clicking noise on the gears because it can't move the shaft. full rotation and this is a VEX servo servo module it's a pretty good mod cheap and effective and, uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll have more mods to come also forgot to add inside the motor that potentiometer, if you don't do it right, I'm going to show you what's going to happen. I did this on another motor by accident, but this is a troubleshooter. If you, if this is happening to you, you need to fix the inside part on the motor. See, I'm not even pushing any buttons. It's continuous rotation, and it won't even stop. That's because, that's because the motor on the inside, it doesn't think that the servo is back at the starting position. So it just keeps spinning, thinking that it's going to get there. And then once it gets to the starting position that it was at, it stops. But this is not spinning the potentiometer, so it's never going to reach that, so it just keeps spinning. 
So I guess if you wanted to make the spin forever, I, I guess you could just twist that inside piece. But that's basically what's going to happen. And if you did it right, your final product should not should allow you to be in full control. And uh, it's very nice because it's like a free motor because servos, they're very fast and I don't really see a use for them. I see much more use for motors. And here's the finished product in the end. Take it.